Hey guys, I uh, I look washed out and this lighting is utterly terrible, but I don't have the light on. It looks worse. So, I just have to have them looking like a ghost. Um, so anyway, I'm sorry that it's been a while again. Uh, you guys will understand if I just say life and leave it right there, right? Because life. Also, I haven't, um, I haven't been reading anything recently because I've been so busy and then like some of the stuff that I've read before, I just, I have been having some crazy weeks going on. Um, so I'm going to talk about a book that I read a few months ago actually called What the Dead Want by Nora Olson, which was a fantastic book. Um, it, it wasn't necessarily what I thought it was going to be, um, but it was, it was actually really good because I wasn't really able to, like, predict the whole thing. Yes, there was some stuff where I'm just like, oh yeah, this is gonna happen, this is how it's gonna end, but, I mean, it's... The plot actually surprised me, which was great, because I love it when plots surprise me and I can't predict every single thing in the book. Um, and one of the things that makes this book, like, really fantastic and amazing is the pictures in the book. Um, I don't have the book here to show you because I borrowed it from the library because I don't, I don't actually own it. I just really, really loved it. Um, but just the pictures, the way it ties in with everything was amazing. I mean, it was you, I don't know, to me, like, you get a lot of those stories, it's like, it's a ghost story, and there's, like, pictures of ghosts added in, or they're talking about pictures of ghosts, so, that part was kind of like, yeah, I've, I've heard this before, but actually having the pictures in with it to, like, help tell the story was great. Um... And because instead of like trying to picture everything, because it was it was actually kind of hard to try and picture everything, just because there's so much going on in the book, having the pictures there to like uh, give you a guide of what's going on um, was absolutely fantastic. Um, <laughs> just. The plot in general, it's, there's actually, for such a short book, there's a lot going on in it, um, cause the main character Gretchen is like, got a whole bunch of issues because her great aunt just, like, died right in front of her, and that's not really spoilers, it happens in the first few chapters of the book. Um, let's see, um, and then, like, a friend coming to be like, hey, no, you're not gonna stay here, you're coming home, that really, uh, that didn't really surprise me either, just because of what you see in their friendship in the first few chapters in the beginning before she leaves. You know he's not gonna just let her be in some weird, creepy place by herself with a couple of people that she doesn't really know. Um, so just, I mean, those two, friendship goals, right there. Um, I don't remember his name, I remember the main character's name, Gretchen, that was her name. Um, but I don't remember a whole lot of names anymore just because it's been six months since I read it, um, but 
I just, oh, their friendship was amazing. Um, and then just the relationship of the brother and sister that you see, whose names that I forget as well. Just like, oh my goodness, awesome sibling relationship. They are fantastic. Uh, and just with everything with ghosts and what's going on and why those two little girls were terrorizing everyone, that story was depressing. Um, so it was, I adored it just because of, um, the cats are fighting, sorry. Um, I adored it because there was just so much in it that I was like, yeah, that probably happened somewhere in real life and history. Um, as sad as it is to say, because unfortunately that's what happened to them was horrible. And they didn't understand because they're like, four, six years old, I don't know, but they were, they were young, nothing was their fault, but it just, they didn't understand, so they couldn't go to rest when they were, uh, dead, so it was just, it was, it was sad, <laughs> um, I might have shed a couple of tears, <laughs> um, but other, I mean, just, the way it was written, it was amazing, um, because it's just, some of the storylines kind of wrapped into each other, which is, like, what you're supposed to do when you're writing a novel, and you have, like, the main plot, and then you have some subplots, and just, whatever, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, I think, maybe, maybe not. But, <laughs> I just, I don't really have anything negative to say about it, other than maybe it wasn't long enough for me. <laughs> I would have loved to read more, but it's, it actually ended really well where it did, and just, it's fantastic and amazing. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna go... <laughs> Hopefully I will have another video up soon. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, as I said, I've been busy. I'm almost done with one book, so that should be up. Anyway, um, if you could hit subscribe over here. And I have some other videos that I'm gonna put up here. And... Yeah. Just... Yeah. Love you guys. Bye!